let's have a look at a peer comparison analysis and we're going to look particularly at what the arrows graph is all about. So because we've got two groups, remember, we've got two sets of data, but both of those sets of data have been done on, collected on the same person. So that means we don't have independent groups. So we need to find and look at the differences, not the original data anymore. So when we, can, when we draw an arrows graph, and there is a video showing you how to create this arrow graph in NZ Grapher, we want to um, look at the difference, okay? So let me have a look at an example here. So this is our paired experiment for writing times. What we've done is we've taken a bunch of people, remember, were going to write with their dominant hand and they were going to write with their non-dominant hand and record the time for both. So each dot here, okay, so each of these dots that we've got at the top represents one person's time writing with their dominant hand. And the arrow that connects them together, okay, goes to the second dot. And so that is that person's time to write with their non-dominant hand. So what we've got is I've got each arrow on this graph is connecting each person and it's their writing time with their dominant hand compared to their writing time with their non-dominant hand. So each of these arrows is looking at the time for that person to write with both hands. Alright, so that's the first thing that we need to understand is that each arrow represents a person and their writing time with both their dominant and non-dominant hand. So notice that the arrows are going from the dominant to the non-dominant, so it's going in that direction. And so the arrow itself is looking at how much faster or slower each person writes. So for example, I've got a person here, the blue arrow that I drew, their writing time with their dominant hand is maybe 100 seconds, and that goes down to this time with their non-dominant hand of maybe 170 seconds. So the arrow represents that that student took, took an extra 70 seconds to write that passage with their non-dominant hand compared with their dominant hand. If I take a different arrow, that might be, um, if I take this one for example here, the non-dominant hand, or sorry, the dominant hand time is maybe around 50 seconds, and the non-dominant hand is around maybe 85 seconds. So that means that they have taken 35 seconds longer to write with their non-dominant hand than their dominant hand. Okay, so the arrow represents the difference in time between these two events. When, so if that's the first part is understanding the graph. Now we need to interpret this graph. And what I want you to do is to notice the direction that the arrows are taking. So if I have right here, all of the arrows are going from left to right, so dominant hand to non-dominant hand, they're all going in that direction, okay? So they're all heading that way. So that means that they're taking some amount of time with their dominant hand and they're taking a longer time with their non-dominant hand. And so that's the interpretation, the pattern that I want to notice. So I can say here that it's this, um, it means that because the arrows are all pointing in the same direction, that's telling me that all of the students took longer to write with their non-dominant hand than with their dominant hand. Now, if we have arrows being mixed, so if I have some arrows going that way and some going that way, some maybe up and down, so I've got it in that kind of mixture mode, that's what I would want to do, is I want to talk about, well, look, I've got three arrows that go in that direction, I've got three arrows that go in that direction, and I've got three arrows that go up and down. So that is the pattern that I'm noticing. Alright, so that's what we want to be able to first of all do, 
is to notice, understand what the, gra the arrow represents and then notice what pattern. And if I've got lots of them going in opposite directions like this, then that tells me there isn't a consensus. I can't say that lots of students are writing faster or slower because some do, but some don't. 